Hi, so here we have a problem which I have taken from a book and the title of the book is World's Hardest Puzzles and this book is compiled by Mr. Charles Barry Townsend and the best part of this book and its puzzles is there is a small story behind every puzzle and this puzzle is called World's Hardest Boating Puzzle and the puzzle statement is like this. On a sunny Sunday afternoon, the Bennington sisters left the east shore in their new tri-motor skiff and headed towards west. So let these be Bennington sisters and they are starting from east and at the same moment Devonport brothers left the west shore of the river in their racing shell and headed towards the east. So let these be the Devonport brothers and they are starting from the west shore of the river. So these sisters are moving in this direction and these brothers are moving in this direction and they meet somewhere over here and this point where they meet is actually 410 feet from the closest shore and let's assume that this is the slower boat and this is the faster boat. So they are meeting over here and this point is actually 410 feet from this shore and after this they both continue their journey and reach the opposite shore. So these people will reach over here and these girls will reach over here. And after that, each crew spent an hour ashore and they headed back across the river for home. So these girls actually belong to East Shore and these boys actually belong to the West Shore. So they are returning back to home now and this time they cross each other at 230 feet from the closest river bank. So this return journey need not to start at the same time because if these girls reach early over here, they'll finish their one hour early and they will start early from this shore and since we have assumed that these boys are slower, they will start little later from this shore and they will meet somewhere over here. So suppose if this is the line where they meet for the second time and this was the location where they met for the first time and we are given that this distance is 410 feet and this distance is 230 feet and we are asked if we can find the width of the river. First time the Devonport brothers and Bennington sisters are meeting here so this much was the distance covered by the Devonport brothers and this much was the distance covered by the Bennington sisters and they were meeting at this line and after that they continued their journey and Bennington sisters reached over here and at this shore they finished their work in one hour and they again start the return journey and they reach till here right and Devonport brothers also continued their journey and they also reach at this shore and they also finish their work in exact one hour and again they start their return journey from this point till here and they again reach at this line at the same time which is 230 feet away from this shore. So the question is can we find the width of the river by using just this data and yes you can actually find the width of the river using this data. So both of them are starting at the same time from opposite shores and first time they are meeting at this line which is 410 feet away from this shore and suppose the time taken is t and the distance covered by both of them is actually equal to the width of the river which I assume as d. So together both the boats actually have covered the distance equal to the width of the river in time t and when they meet over here at this line the total distance covered by both the boats is actually three times the width of the river right this much is one width this much is the second width and this distance plus this distance is actually equal to the third width so the total time taken to meet at this point will actually be equal to three times the time taken by both of them to meet at the first point right because when they meet here together they have completed three times the width of the river okay so now let us talk about this boat this boat starts from here and covers the distance equal to the width of the river plus 
230 feet. So the width of the river plus 230 feet will actually be equal to 410 multiplied by 3 because this boat covers 410 feet in t time. So in 3 t times it will cover 410 multiplied by 3 feet. Right. So d will actually be equal to 410 multiplied by 3 will be equal to 1230 minus 230 feet or this will be equal to 1000 feet. So this is actually a very interesting problem which you can solve in few seconds only provided you don't get confused that you are not given the speed of the boats you are not provided with the time. So this was named as world's hardest boating puzzle but yes you can solve it in seconds. So that's all for this video and I'm planning to take few more puzzles from this book because there are lots of interesting puzzles in this book. So for those videos keep watching my smart subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you'll get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.